The Devu Hydro Power Project is located in the headwaters of Brown River in the Karukuhiri district. Apart from Rauna in Sogeri, this is the second hydro power project in Central Province and both in the same district. Once completed, it will be one of the biggest hydro power plant in the country, producing up to 51 megawatts of power. This project is also aligned with the Central Province Development Plan in the agriculture sector, which will also play a significant role in the delivery of power and water supply, which is a source of mutual partnership in the long term in the development of the Kokoro Track land known as the Narrow Brown Catchment and the Central Province. The Agarobe and the Central Provincial Government value this project and fully support and congratulate the developer for this great achievement and wish them every success with the implementation of this project. The Edevu Hydropower project started back in 2009 with the initial survey with landowners and other arrangements. The project agreement was signed between the landowners, developer and the national government in 2015, which saw the commencement of the project in 2017. And after years of survey, negotiations and other arrangements, the hydropower diversion tunnel was commissioned recently by Communications and Energy Minister Rainbow Paita and Chinese Embassy Councillor Liu Lin Lin. The commissioning of the diversion tunnel is a significant milestone achievement for the project as it signifies commencement of the construction of the dam and powerhouse. But thanks to the unremitting efforts of the AG Investment Limited and the Shaw International PNG Limited, thanks to the equity government investment of China East the Vision Group after the previous investors left, the project was able to continue and has come to this important stage. The commissioning ceremony today is certainly the milestone of the project. It marks the beginning of the dam construction. There have been many challenges before the commencement of the project. According to the developer, one major challenge is to find the right investor for the project. He said it is hard to find an investor in PNG as no one is familiar with hydropower. However, he is thankful for the major investor, the East Vision Group of China, the developer PNG Hydropower Limited, and China Gazuba Group, who stepped in to invest and develop the project. The project costs over 500 million kina and funded through private equity. But people still think uh, it's risky to invest. So that's the hardest part, sir. Uh, but but we're lucky like today because our our people here, the village people and their uh, their the, their behavior and their their religion belief. So like my, the current partner, they are they are convinced, and it's going to be a successful project. Unlike other hydropower project in the country, landowners are the key equity partners of the project and they will also play an important role in the development of the project. And one uh, plus something with the project when we look at now is that M7 one plus new plus benchmark where all landowners in the staff them, all Kisim Royals dinner, the landowners staff was all probable project too. And the, 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 the current ownership structure that's been set up on this particular project is one that we must uh, uh, be able to, I guess, extend to other projects in the country so the landowners can benefit meaningfully. The project once completed will help achieve the government's vision of 70% national electrification by 2030. PNG Power Chairman Peter Napuri said the 51 megawatts power project will help solve the problem of continuous blackout in the city and other issues faced in the country. We already got now the two uh, gas fired power plants over at, um, at the LNG plant site in new power partly uh, funded owned by uh, Kumul Petroleum and uh, uh, oil sets. That's about 58 megawatts. Dirio, another gas-fired power plant over there, about 45 megawatts, owned by the landowners of the LNZ. So together between them, there's about 110 megawatts over there. And Eddie Boo at 52, that gives us about 172. So hopefully once we get that going, then we can be able to uh, shut down all the... Uh, these are fired power plants in Kanudi as well as in Moitaka. So. The chairman also highlighted other plans to increase the supply of electricity in the country, and that is to build more hydro power plants in the country. 
As you know, this probably will not become available maybe for another 12 months or 16 months, depending how we go with the project. But our job now is to prepare the grid so we can be able to evacuate the power from here. So we have already uh, instructed our engineers to uh, design the power grid that will uh, evacuate the power from here into uh, Moitaka and then to get a whole substations where it will mix with the rest of the power supply coming into the city. Communications and Energy Minister Rainbow Paita also gave his assurance of the government's support to this project. He made a commitment for a new road to be built into the project site for the benefit of the Koyari landowners. The, the committee in government today that we will take note of this road, work with the local member, and ensure that you need put the money aside, the strategy is the road, so that this type of enabling project will start finish. And private investment comes, so government now where you come. So we will come to the strategy road, and some barber, something or some cement to PNG power talk, the strategy transmission line will come from PNG power. Now we will also have government, we will give them support to put them road. Karukwiri MP Peter Iso Aimo is also supportive of the project. He assured the people that there will be no environmental damage to the environment. I asked a lot of questions in relation to environmental damage and everything else. I thank Mr. Guao and everybody else who on every occasion took me through. Many a times he had to bring in environmental expertise to sit me down and explain in detail. So I am satisfied that as a downstream villager, I don't get affected in the long run. Huh? The project is expected to be completed by the end of next year, and it is expected to start generating power by the first quarter of 2021.